turns out, and I'm not 100% sure about this, but it does turn out that the world didn't end yesterday, according this to the Mayans. Really? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, had, oh my I had my can of peaches and my baseball bat and, you know, my hand-borrowed bunker under the house, but no. Nah, well, the- why, why peaches? Peaches in a, in a tin is like that stereotypical. Oh, the stereotypical apocalypse survival thing. Yeah. Mm. So got Along have- with beans. Yes. Or dog food. Dog food. <laughs> mm. there, there were people that like took it really seriously. I mean, I remember the last time there was a big sort of, oh, the world's going to end sort of thing. I remember oh, this story about this guy that sold all of his possessions in advance, like sold his house, quit his job, sold everything, and went up onto a hill awaiting apocalypse. And obviously it didn't happen. And um, he probably had more than just egg on his face after that. Why did he sell all his belongings just because the world was ending? To spend all the money on blackjack and hookers. All right, so prior to going onto the hill waiting for it to happen, yeah, he, yeah, did yeah. he didn't do something he with didn't the money. Like, he didn't like fill his pockets with money. Right. Go onto the hill and go, take me to heaven! He just went to Essex and went nuts. <laughs> yeah, for a week. he just he just went crazy in a, like, and a. Essex went nuts on him. And um, almost literally in some cases. <laughs> well, Essex had its nuts on him. I just said that joke. You no, can't you didn't. Say the you joke said a right different after. joke. You said no, a different I said joke, the same though. joke. I just said it smarter. Surrounded by well, shut up. <laughs> Oh, amateurs. So, so, uh, what were your preparations for the end of the world? I didn't Nothing. get any heat because it was nonsense. <laughs> it would be admitting that prescience is a real thing, that the future is determinable, which it is not. I, I can determine that you will slag off <laughs> EA at some point during this podcast. EA? Yeah, EA. Is, what has EA done to me this year? <laughs> I mean, to me personally, they come after me. <laughs> EA, what have EA done? What haven't they done? What haven't they we'll done? We'll get onto that sort of thing well, okay. a little bit okay, later. So you, well, let's see if that prediction comes true then. Ooh. I predict that predictions will be made and that if you're vague enough, they'll sometimes be true, but sometimes not. <laughs> <laughs> have you been drinking? I don't drink. I'm, I'm celebrating the continuing world with a glass of pres- alcohol yeah. yeah there was a lot of pictures taking the piss out of the end of the world happening it must have it must have given people like the best chat up line ever because you could say you know come on you know the world might end tonight you know <gasps> is that why you went out noodles that's why noodles uh, went out no, your chances were no, higher no, no, no. <laughs> It's the end of the no, world. They're, they're pretty. They're pretty high already. I just like to point out <laughs> with my stunningly, stunningly massive. I'm muscles terribly narcissistic and, and can't face. dance, but it's the end of the world anyway. Come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, but anyway, God. I bet uh, some people used that. I bet you they did. Hello and welcome to the Brain Go Hearty Gaming Podcast. This is episode 41, Nobody Died. I'm Blighty, I'm joined by Flick, the designated driver of the evening. Hello, I can't drive. <laughs> and our resident stalker come, you know, usual person, thing, monkey. This is why you need to think of intros in advance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, what, what are we going to call him these days? What is he now? He's not a stalker so much anymore. Uh, John. <laughs> John no. the stalker. That's a that's yeah. a stalker name, right there. John the Stalker is a good name for a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, 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 Jack the Ripper. I mean, John. if you ever think of going that way, if you're sending things to the police and <laughs> body bags, that's a name I would sign with. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe press it to the back of my mind and let it just fester there. <laughs> fester but, for know. a few years, and then once yeah. you get angry at society enough, yeah. Yeah. So, as has now become the norm, this will be the last episode of the year, which will include our Bingo Hearty Gaming Awards. So, we'll use some of the same ones from last year. We're going to add a few new ones in. Um, we might briefly start off with you know what we've been playing for the last two weeks, but getting through the awards might take some time. It's also supposed to be a Christmas one, I guess. It's supposed to be Christmas oh. and celebrating not the end of the world, um, New Year, all sorts of bullshit. What are you getting for Christmas, Noodles? Uh, nothing. Excellent. Let's move on. 
I know. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I like how funny you find that. <laughs> Most people would find it heart wrenching. Nothing. Oh, ha, ha. Hmm. Buy him something on Steam. Since he bought you games on Steam you've never played. That's a good point. Noodles, pick something on Steam and I'll buy you. Uh, I'm alright, thanks. Don't worry about it. Just, oh, that's why you can't get him anything, because he always says he doesn't want anything. He's not, he then if, buys if, things himself. Because profiting, profiting is wrong. I'm not... Who's profiting now? You're doing the work now, boy. I think he's that's profiting true. on his own misery. I think is that's what he means. True. Yeah. That, yeah, I'll go hunting and see if he's got a wish list later on in Steam. Oh, oh we both did. I because do. I, oh, I, shall, <laughs> I shall now remove everything from it. Oh, <laughs> just buy him something ridiculous that he'll never play. And on on the same somber note, Patrick Moore, the original Games Master, died this year. I oh, don't Patrick care. Moore. Oh wait, where's where's Patrick Moore played the xylophone? No, we can't play it's that during the podcast. Oh, we, you should be able to. No, no I'm afraid we can't. can't. We can't. Oh, just, I'm so disappointed. Just, he he didn't know anything he was saying about the games he was giving people advice on during that show. He I just thought, read what they put in front of him. He was um, uh, um as bad as me. Um, um, what did he say? Um, a lot? No, he had um dementia. <laughs> 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 All the way back then. All the way back then, so he was just reading what was but in it, front of him. It, it come that it's it's like part of your childhood, isn't it? Surely, from watching Games Master, no? Uh, yes, I watched Game Master. That's the only reason I know. Whenever you watch one of these like countdown programs that show like hundred worst X or whatever, whenever Dominic Diamond turns up, it's the only reason Ugh. to know who he is and what he did because he used to present Games Master. He used to write for PC Gamer, didn't he? Possibly. He used to write for a magazine, possibly the Games Master magazine. Now that I think about it, now he just reminds me of a piss poor version of Frankie Boyle. Is that really his one claim to fame? I was on Games Master. It probably right. isn't. You probably like to forget about it, but that's what I remember him for. Ah, so that's all you wanted to bring up? Yeah, yeah, just that. really shouldn't bring up a death at the start of a podcast. It's supposed <laughs> yeah. to be quite funny. Especially a Christmas podcast. Especially a Christmas one. It kind of sets the wrong mood. Good. Kind of like oh, yeah. pacing wise, it's a in, bit wrong. In fact, titling it "Nobody Died" is technically a lie. Then, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You could title it "Nobody Died" via Ex- mind prophecy. Nobody died. Brackets mm. except Patrick Moore. <laughs> 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 He's the only person to have died this year. <laughs> there wasn't anyone else. But he's up there now playing his xylophone with aliens. Playing his xylophone. Mm. His golden xylophone shall, with shall all the we, angels. Shall we do the games played section? We probably should, yes. Let's try and get Back away from people this. dying. <laughs> so who would like games. to go first? Keeping in mind we're keeping this kind of brief. Uh, might not be quite brief, I suppose, because, you know, with moving house, I haven't spent much time playing any games. So... Um, yeah, I'll I'll cut out most of the the nonsense. We played a bit of Halo Four. Um, we finished the campaign. It was good. I enjoyed it. We played the multiplayer. It was good. I enjoyed it. Better than Black Ops. If until people, until if some, a problem arised. Well, yeah. It's, the the, the, net, the net coding seems to be a bit shaky when it comes to um, play. Yeah, there's something Black very Ops. weird with the net coding when you're doing Spec Ops, Spartan Ops. Same difference. Same mode. Same it's, thing. It seems to be a bit sketchy i'm not quite sure why but you know there's there is that but if if you are going out to buy for somebody's christmas present well this will be out a little bit late for you maybe but if you're looking for a game to buy in a sale suggest halo 4 not black ops unless you're six years old well the six-year-olds already have it that's true um so other than that really there's only two real games to talk about that i've been playing and one is XCOM. Uh-huh. Enemy Unknown. Enemy Unknown, yeah, it's not the original. Not the original. It is brilliant. It's everything that I was hoping it would be. Uh, obviously, I played the demo anyway, but it's it's very, very good. Very addictive. Have you played that, Noodles? Are you? I have not played XCOM, unfortunately. Oh, you're missing out. You're missing out. Is that on your wish list? I have heard it's... No, it's not on my wish list. And no, I don't, He's lying. I don't want it. I am, I'm not lying, actually. I don't it should be. It. it really should be, because it's a very good game. He's too right. busy dating cripples. <laughs> Cutting the shapes in the dance floor with like cripples like worshiping him. We need to get an update about that once it's his turn. So, what was your last game? Um, so, other than that, uh, Shogun Two. 
Which yes, is, which he finally got working. Uh, there was a few technical difficulties, which... No, there was not a few. There was a crap done. <laughs> it lo- loosely, loosely involved me essentially just download, downloading the whole thing all over again. Fixed. I hope you went and thanked whatever tech was trying to help you so much. I did. I went back and I said thank you very much for all okay. the help. And I told people what the solution was. Because there's nothing worse than you know people trying to problem solve their way through you know getting a game running and there not being an answer at the very end. Like, you know, oh, someone says, or, or, go try this, or, or, go try that. Yeah. Or they say, don't worry about it, fixed it, and then they don't give <laughs> That's the, the reason why. Fixed That's it. even worse. They're saying, I've got it fixed, thanks very much for the help, and not tell them what the, mm. what the solution was. Yeah, I hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> so Shogun 2, yeah, after getting it running, um, we've played a little bit of a sort of copy campaign, and we did a, a few sort of competitive matches last night with CR. It's a bit... Uh, my understanding isn't quite there yet. I thought I knew what I was supposed to be doing, but it doesn't really quite work that well. So I'm going through the tutorial just now. Which is what yeah, I do you doing. understand it better now? I don't but think it's that hard to understand, but, really. There's certain things that like, I didn't know that would... Like um, if you attack somebody in the rear, for example, <laughs> um, you have a much better chance of just you know splatting them and making them run away than if you do it in the front. Which makes sense in a logical, you know... It's just not often the games have that kind of logic. Exactly. Especially so, RTS-type ones. So you don't assume that the game will, will think about that. Mm, but it does. It even takes into consideration how fatigued your people are. Yes, and like running downhill gives you a better charge bonus. And, you know, mm-hmm. if you're at the top of a hill, you get further distance with your archers, etc. So um, it's it's quite fun. I'm sort of slowly easing into it, but I'm still kind of playing XCOM on the side. Hmm. It's rather addicting. So, so my, yes. Yeah. Shall we move on to Nudos' list? Let's move on to Nudos. How is that burnt girl doing? Well, I haven't it's really actually satisfied. played it. I haven't actually played it, but instead I played Mentally Disabled Man Simulator 2012, which That's is... not a real <laughs> thing. No, it's it, it's a, it's another visual novel which I read and finished one of two of the endings for. I saw the third one to go. I think you're lying, so I'm going to I'm check. Not What's as, it called? Um, Mentally... Uh, no, 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 no. It's um, Cyan no Yuta. I think that's how it's pronounced. Is it not just? Is it, is it not just that like you're in like a, a version of the Truman Show, except for instead of Truman, you're basically Johnny Knoxville? <clears throat> no, it's nothing like that at all. A guy, uh, a guy gets into a car accident, and then he sees all the world as monsters and evil people, <laughs> when in fact they're just they're completely fine, and that's he's how just I see the world. crazy. <laughs> That's you mean I the see. world's not like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> you mean those weren't space aliens on the lawn I was shooting this morning? <laughs> so is this another kind of girly, make you feel things kind of thing? Yes, it is uh, one of those girly, make you feel things thing. Is it, and it, yeah. is, and is it, it was like a, a, and it a, was a make you feel thing. It, it doesn't, doesn't make have your a, tiny tickle. <clears throat> it doesn't have a small amount of porn like halfway through the game or anything. Uh, it's a lot more heavy on the. Um, the uh, explicit scenes than triple dating, <laughs> triple dating simulator 2012 well, that, was. Wait, this but it was all censored. The world is monster, so how can you sandwich porn into Ah, that? well, this is where the, the feels part comes in. Basically, there is a girl who he... This is the only girl in... This is the only person in the world who you can see as a normal person. Right. And basically, they become romantically attracted, and then stuff happens. They get freaky! So if he goes into an office building, he just sees, like, grotesque monsters doing mundane office work. Is that how it works? Uh, pretty much, apart so from all, like, everything sucks. She's curing his insanity with sex. Is that what you're saying? Uh, That's what I'm I've hearing. I've seen that porno. That's what I'm hearing. No, not particularly. In fact, it kind of goes the opposite way. He becomes very, very crazy in the end. So it's a crazy. sad ending. It has many. Well, yeah, the, the endings that I played were sad. I don't know if there's a happy ending. There probably isn't. <laughs> we're being incredibly childish about his girly game. My girly game, yes. Mm-hmm. It's, right. It's, it's to be we fair, to... and I know this is going to get brought up later on, um, uh-huh. as per part of your little video that you did recently. Um, yeah. It does sound very much like the style of game that The Walking Dead sort of follows through. It's a an ex- uh, what was it you said? It's, it's, more, it's an experience as opposed to you know a game. Yeah, well, that's well, it's definitely not a game because it's just an interactive book. Basically. No, I, yeah, I think it's it's a lot different from 
a visual novel because The Walking Dead, you can actually move a character about and it's not entirely text based, whereas, and there's actually moving images and the, so it's more of an interactive movie as opposed to something like the the um the visual novels which are basically just books but interactive books so there's don't interactive even have movies pop-ups interactive or books <laughs> no they don't have pop-ups no uh, do they have pictures <laughs> at all uh pop-up they have boobies pop-up <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, but, um, basically yeah so for those bits there are <laughs> there are pictures accompanying the words um and yeah you do get the occasional like Picture of a background or whatever. They are, Pop-up yeah. Boobies. Pop up boobies. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have another one of these books on the horizon after you've finished this one? Um, or are you just going to go straight out? So it's you're like... going to be like <laughs> totally out of toilet paper and tissues by the end of the year, aren't you? <laughs> no, no. I'm sure that that I'm we're, we're with, it's not we're with the Barbie it's... Lord. Crippled dating, guy who sees everything as monsters dating. Um, Essex uh, girl? No, I I don't know. I I've heard of a couple of recommendations, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, what are the titles? Come on, what disabilities or? or uh, there's no, there's no, there's planetarium, which is, a, I think it's planetarium, <laughs> but it's basically uh, a post-apocalyptic world where a man, an old man, and his, uh, well, it might be an old man or just an old man, uh, and his robot, I think, girlfriend, like go. <laughs> from place to place and it's very odd does he keep on hoping that each leap is the leap home I, I don't know what kind of <laughs> are you too young to get that reference I'm not sure yes he is right. um, do you know what quantum, quantum leap, leap is quantum leap hasn't been on TV for a long time oh come on I've heard, I know what quantum leap is but I, I have never watched it Scott and Bakula I... or whatever his name is <laughs> anyway is that what proper games have you been playing? Okay, what proper gla- g- games? Flames. Games. Right, well, I finished off Dark Souls, which mm. I loved. Actually <laughs> loved. So that's ten hours of that there. So I don't even care what you're going to say about the Dark Souls ending, because <laughs> you probably can not get to it because you're a loser. There's more than one. Yes, there are two. No, I think there's more than two. No, this I'm pretty is- sure there's at least three, in fact. What? There's lighting the fire, there's not lighting the fire, and then there's a third one where you kill the keeper guy. Keeper guy? The the worm thing. Worm thing? Yeah. The the face oh, thing. Fra- um, King Caesar Framps. <clears throat> Whoever what? his name was, he was annoying. Yeah. I think well, I I'm pretty him. sure there's at least three endings. I'm pretty sure of that. Oh, well, I just ran away and became an evil dark lord. <laughs> but yeah. Befitting your character, of course. Yes. Indeed. Did you play a mage type or a melee type? Or a mix? Um, melee type. Well, the casters casters have it pretty hard in that game. So not in PvP, they don't. Not, Unless no, they not. fixed the spamming of. I can't remember oh, the spell. I dark dark bead. I think no. I think that's still pretty rampant. No, of course it is because they don't fix the stuff that needs fixing. No, 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 no. Uh, besides Dark Souls, uh, Red Faction Gorilla. There's a good game. Says who? Like, is me okay does, does that involve like chasing monkeys around the zoo or oh have you, neither of you heard of Red i played the original red faction played the, yeah the, the original one. one was on the ps2 it was uh, the whole yeah. destroy all the scenery destroy you know, all the scenery yeah. except the scenery we don't let you destroy yeah <laughs> well this one's pretty much the same it's very smash everything whatever destroy kill maim murder you Didn't know we, we just... sat there once one night quite late into the evening to see how much of a multiplayer stage we could I do remember that yes. how much <laughs> of it just, could we just shooting everything and seeing how much of it could actually be removed and back in those days I think it wasn't very much and then it started repairing some of the damage elsewhere yeah, yeah. Hope with the damage we were doing in the one place it's like when you go into your back garden and just start digging a hole just to see how deep you can go. It's kind of pointless, <laughs> but you do it anyway. I mean, first thing, uh, wake up. No, wake people up. don't do that. <laughs> wake people, up, don't. I did that. Come on. You wake uh, up. I definitely wake, did that. You wake up, punch a tree, and then you go <laughs> digging in the garden. Did you ever do oh. that? Did you ever just go into your garden and dig a hole just because you could? And see how deep you could get it? No? Am I weird? <laughs> You're yes. weird. Maybe on the beach. Is that where, is that where actually, you get rid on the, of the beach, bodies? On the beach, yeah. That's times. where I got the idea about where to get rid of the bodies. I oh, did it on the beach many times. And I dug holes in the beach as well. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay, so far you're winning for worst joke. Uh, Noodles will probably give you a run for your money, but... Yep. <laughs> Anything well, else on your list? Talking of jokes, Saints Row the Third. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No. Does that no, mean you don't was... like it? Yeah, it's all right, I guess, but it's not. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Bad. I think I've only played a couple of hours of it. I've still, still got most of the game to do. After seeing the big fat naked guy running about, you know, the <laughs> oh, like oh, if you only got to there, that's like three, three yeah, hours. He in. didn't get very far into it at all. I played. <laughs> it's because I only got around to buying the DLC recently because it was on offer. It's and... because I was playing it co-op with you, and you didn't yeah. want to play it anymore. Because it's a bad game. It's not good at all. In fact, the the, main, the character you play as was my worst character for our awards last year. Because <laughs> he's an asshole. It's ironic because, you know, Saints Row 2 was a very, very good game. Yes. And they didn't they change the an awful well. lot to make it as bad as it is. They changed enough. It's almost equivalent to changing spawn points and just ruining everything. Exactly. That one thing. Let's 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 move on a bit, shall we? Well, what have you been playing? Yes, I'm glad you remembered there was still one more person. <laughs> well, as, as I was about to say, I bought all the DLC for Saints Row 3 just because I wanted an achievement hunt to get my achievements for up. Slot. And it was on offer. Yeah, I know, I can't help it. <laughs> so I've been playing that. I've played through one set so far, the Professor Genki's Ethical Climax Reality set. It's they do have short, some very, very good, good names. Some very good names. Yes, that has a very good name, um, but it was about six activities and that was it it was over so I'm glad I only paid about a pound for each one of the three that's pretty bad Mm. I've been playing Shogun with you but I'll brush over that until you've played it more I've been playing Halo 4 as you said Uh, I I went back to Faster Than Light (laughs) because (laughs) I got footage for it for a video I put up it's your crack and unfortunately it reminded me that I quite enjoyed it so yeah I'm back (laughs) playing that as you should be good game other than that, I think that's it for now. Uh, what I will be testing in the future is I bought RPG Maker on Steam because I got it 50% off. I you used to have an old that. version of that. and you made I one used one I, of the very first versions. I play-tested the, the small sort some of Some stuff I used to make. make yeah. So I might try and make some kind of, I don't know. Short, that, that was before you wrote that RPG book thing. as well. That was before then because the characters then featured in the book. Yes, it was. You're correct. I've got a good memory. Sometimes you have a good memory, yes. I've I have a good memory when I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, actually, that's true, yeah. You I'm need actually, to drink more. I'm actually out of alcohol, I'm afraid. I'm out of um, sparkly wine. <laughs> I am drinking sparkly right. wine. Yeah. Hey, back to the list. I think that is about it, other than playing a few things for a very short period of time just to get footage for that top five best and worst video I did. It was a good idea to do. Oh, I do remember one thing that I wanted to talk about. I ooh, ooh. mentioned it last time. But I got the Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition for my iPad. Oh, yeah. How's so that been very, working out for you? Very classic Neverwinter Night style, if you've played that. Yeah, well, I don't know you have, but I mean people listening. The thing that's very confusing is that you see second edition Dungeons & Dragons rules, which are apeshit crazy <laughs> compared to the more recent versions that make sense. The thing that was screwing me over at the start is you aim to have as low armor as possible because of how it's worked out. Because it's all done by THAC0, which is to hit armor class 0. So you. So want- I was finding all these jerkins with like 7 armor, and I was like, oh, I'm wearing plate armor, but that's only a 5. So I should probably wear the leather, even though it sounds like it's not made from as good stuff. <laughs> and I, I had to look up beginner's guide and say, no, 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 everything's worked out. You have to roll below armor to do damage. And what doesn't help matters is when you pick up shields, they have plus one armor on them. But what it means is plus one armor, so they take away one armor. <laughs> it's, it, it's, you have to get your head around some really stupid ways to do rules, especially if you're used to old newer editions, like the one used in Neverwinter Nights, which made sense. Besides that, it's good. It's got voice acting. It's yeah, not very good graphics, but you know, it's, it's old a though. It's, game, so. it's one of those, you know... You know, games that you you have to have played at the time, sort of thing. Yeah, but it's still got a good story. It's got an interesting story so far. So I'm just getting into it when I get the chance. 
I mean, like, been... I think I think it like falls into the realm of if you told somebody that you know has has you know joined gaming more recently and been playing you know Call of Duty games to go and play like Doom or the original Quake, you know the grandfather is of that genre, which are still have you played Doom games. Noodles? I have not played Doom or right, Quake. Right, stopping the I'm... podcast now. We're going to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm awfully sorry. You Doom? can get them for about fifty pence. The I know. I know. They're but brilliant. It's games. just. So your eyes aren't capable of only and seeing still, eight pixels. But they, I've got, they still I've got Duke Nukem 3D. Ew. No, that's not that's not far back enough. That's PlayStation era. <laughs> Duke, Duke, that's you need to go further back. You need to go back to Wolfenstein 3D. I had that back in the day. It was brilliant blah, then, blah, blah. and it's I would say it's brilliant now, but it makes me feel sick now because when I run past the walls, yeah, you fast, can't play it now because the FOV is weird. It, it makes uh, makes my anyway, eyes. Anyway, other than that, did we mention Metal Gear Revengeance last time? No, we didn't. Well, either way, we played a demo of that, or I played a demo of that. And I watched. I played through of it on my channel. I you did kind not of watch. watch. Yeah, Niddles doesn't watch us anymore. No. He just, I'm, I'm except when we're sleeping, obviously. But. Yeah. The cameras were always watching. So what did you think, anyway? I liked it. I probably will buy it. It's I liked it. You can still kind of control your cutting as well as just doing the Ninja Guidance type slashing madly. It takes some getting used to because you have to parry everything, but yeah, I liked it. It looked all right, but it and look you're like not nice style of game. initiating any type of conversation about that, so I'll just move on. What? Well, <laughs> do you want me to say something? I'm just I kind of did. I kind of did, but good now I don't choice. Want to. Well done. It's too late now. You've you missed your chance. <laughs> you spoiled it. Do it better than bloody the last Devil May thing. Cry. Uh, yes, I liked it better than Devil May Cry. Yeah. The last thing on my list was Zone of Enders HD Collection, which had the demo in it, and I did the review for Critical Gamer, which is now posted, so people can go read that. Yeah, you're not going to spend going any... on about two yeah, you... PS2 games from the early 2000s. <sighs> and with that, I think that concludes the Games Played section. Right now that I've uh, suitably refreshed my champagne and uh, set the diglet free from the Pokeball, <laughs> let's move on to the main event. No, let's not. We're doing news first, damn it. We are doing news first. Okay, and let's I do news first. During the break. <gasps> um, yeah, we were discussing things. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm going to lock right. the door. Okay. okay. And also, uh, Noodles thought of something I didn't have in my notes to mention. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. Who, me or, me or him? You go first. <laughs> okay, I shall go first. CHQ, they have filed for bankruptcy. That's a good point. It's, it's not in my list of anything to talk about. That's because my list has got nothing. Probably because they're, they're not closing even though they're bankrupt. They're still making all their games. <laughs> How does that work? A, I don't know. That's confused me as well. I don't mm. think they filed for the full type of bankruptcy. It's the partial one to get out of their creditors. Ah. I think. Oh, really? Oh, I thought they'd just gone all out bankrupt. No, they're definitely s- they're definitely still making the games that are in progress, like the South Park one, yeah. another Saints Row. Um, there's be- another one, but I can't remember off the tip of my tongue. No more Dawn of War games then. Well, probably not. No, they'll sell the license on maybe, or they might get saved by the games that are still in progress. Who knows? Well, there, there, there are. There have been rumours that Ubisoft is going to buy THQ. So, is there any reason why you know particular reason? Is it because Saints Row did so badly because it was crap, or uh, not just Saints Row Three doing quite badly? They're what do you want to call it? The one where he plays Death or War. That uh, Dark Siders. Dark Siders. That didn't do terribly well either. They're just not big hitters, unfortunately. So they don't mm. sell well enough to match up against production costs. Oh dear! Oh, they don't make dear. Call of Duty. <laughs> yes. yeah. That's the the problem there. They don't make didn't games tr- for that. Didn't generation. they try though with um, Homefront, or is that a different company? I think that I is Homefront because right now, yeah. yeah, the THQ package on Steam is like twenty quid for every game they've ever yeah, made. They did like Metro <laughs> Twenty Thirty Three and stuff yeah. as well. Yeah, Metro. Metro. Oh no, that's the other game, Metro three. Metro Last Light. I think is the oh the, that's right the yes game. they're making another Metro one yes yeah well assuming everything goes well enough they <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas we're Thank making you. this Christmas podcast as depressing as possible this companies is... closing people dying <laughs> people drinking does anybody have any better stories 
Uh, no, I have a bad one as well, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh. uh, right after the last podcast, Dark Souls 2 got revealed. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Is mm. there something that's bad about that? I don't see the how fact that's that it bad. Exists, <laughs> exists. But there is a, sh- uh, a shining light in the darkness about it. It's that oh. the old director is just overseeing the project. He's not actually being hands-on. So it might actually be a game this time rather than a masochist sweat dream. I th- I still say that you should go back and try it now because... I didn't find anything wrong with it. I got rid of my copy of that game as fast as I possibly could. I well, then you I made a big mistake. Still maybe have it, or maybe I just have nope. the soundtrack. It might just be the soundtrack that I still have. The, the slightly less depressing news I had was just a, a little Christmas-themed Easter egg that someone found hidden in Far Cry 3. Oh. If you want to hear that. <laughs> in, I go for it. In, I don't know if it's A or all of them, but an A warning label stuck to the side of a silo it actually read upon getting in close enough to read it. Christmas has been cancelled. Apparently you told Sand uh, you'd be nice this year. He died from laughing. Yeah. Fair enough. That's probably yeah. true. So, <laughs> it seems odd they would do a seasonal Easter egg, but there you go. Pay attention to the little signs written on silos if you're playing through Far Cry 3, which passed me by for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why I wasn't interested in it. I guess because I didn't really like the second one. That That's much. what you said to me. You said you weren't planning on buying it because yeah. the last one wasn't very good. Although apparently the villain in it, according to people on our Facebook page, is a very good villain. One of those kind of crazy but interesting villains. Maybe when it's on offer, it might be something worth picking up. To, yeah, or to kill the quiet ones during the summer. That's true. Yeah. Instead of just drinking. The <laughs> drinking's fun! Drinking's fun! And now I have a garden, so there's barbecues to be had. Do barbecues and drinking go hand in hand? They do indeed. Even when you're not Australian? They definitely do. Definitely. Oh, okay. They definitely do. Now we can probably move on to the main event, if you wanted. Hooray! The reason that we're all here for. Well, (laughs) you say that, although while you were away on your break, I discovered that Noodles has done Uh, no preparation. Shh, shh. He he's lost just gonna, he's just gonna wing his it. notes all I'll the way through. It. He lost his list of the words we're going to give out, and <laughs> now he's making them up on the fly. The noodles, I I salute you. That is just yeah. That, that is our way of doing things. Just to arse your way through it. <laughs> Make it up as you go along. So I'll list off all of the categories that we've got. Some of them, yeah, you know, the ones that we pre decided to pick games. For. Brought some of these over from last year. Some of them we've added in. So first up, we've put best soundtrack. Kind of a uh-huh. uh, if you want there, most anticipated game of 2012. Now that's not you know what we're waiting for next year. It's what we were waiting for this year. Yeah, this being 2012. This yeah. being 2012. Mm-hmm. Biggest disappointment. Kind of straightforward. The horse armor award or the most pointless DLC award. Mm-hmm. Worst Thanks. worst company. Best company. Yep. And we're having the donkey award, which is you know the most. Arse faced. Now you're the one who named that. Do you want to explain why it's named that? <laughs> the Donkey Award is something that's given out at, at my work uh, for somebody that's done something particularly foolish or stupid. So it is actually a real thing, you see. That's yeah. why we decided to include it. it. It may be somewhere in times gone by somebody did something inappropriate with a donkey. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the origin. company existed? Has it been long <laughs> enough that a donkey, <laughs> a donkey would have had something done to it? Quite possibly. My company has existed since the Victorian era, so... Oh, they fucked tons of donkeys back then. <laughs> Those Victorians, you know that they love the donkeys. You don't see it in historical documentaries and dramas, but yeah, they were they were really bad for that. Uh, apparently, like Victorian Britain, you know, it, it, there was a big thing about getting, like, rare animals in, and there were a couple and of incidents... And screwing them? That may, there may well have been some sexual oh. encounters, but... There were incidents of like tigers running loose in London where they'd escaped from people. I wouldn't call trying to have sex with a donkey a sexual encounter. <laughs> Surely there's a less. <laughs> is, this, is, this, is, uh, is this the right podcast? That I've no, I think you've walked into the wrong podcast. The yeah. bestiality podcast. Okay, moving on. Moving that's on. A, moving that's on. your novel is waiting to happen. <laughs> I, <laughs> pretty much. The, the next category is worst character, then mm-hmm. favorite character. Then mm-hmm. Capcom's worst deed because every knows turning that one, a fun we, one. We have it in for Capcom because because well, they have it in for us. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> and gamers in general. Um, so tying in with that, worst game of the year. 
Because everybody does a game of the year, but nobody does a worst game of the year. Yeah, that's kind of our thing. It's, that's our thing. We're so so pessimistic, I suppose. Um, then there is the the grand the finale stereotypical. game of the year. Yep, can opening. Yay. That was my <laughs> celebratory noise. Let's all drink until our hearts stop. And let's also get started with the award for best soundtrack. So you should probably go first to give Noodles time to half-ass an answer. <laughs> oh, I, I can think of an answer already. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm calling your bluff. Go. All right. Walking Dead. Why not? <laughs> for Let's go for sake. it. That's what I Are you just down. picking that because you plan to pick it for every That's game? That's his plan. Yes. You indeed. can't do that. No, for not worst game. game. Not worst game. Now, I'll agree that the final episode had a good track in it. I wish I knew the name of it. Uh, I, I, if it's the one that I'm th- I'm thinking you're thinking one of. One very I near could, the end. I could link it for you right now if you wanted me to. Well, I don't want you to listen to it right now, but yes, do that. Can, and I'll kind of doing a podcast, you know. Yeah, we're kind of doing a podcast right now, so I can't really listen to MP3s <laughs> that you've illegally uh, obtained from YouTube or something like that. So is there but other than that track why? that you assumed I've spoken about, the, the, the music's all right, yeah. In fact, I, I was going to try and question your choice, but then I realised I picked it as well. <laughs> so I you probably picked, should. We've all picked The Walking Dead as the best soundtrack, and the I, reason the reason I'm going to give is that I couldn't think of a decent soundtrack this yeah, year. Yeah, I, I the really Walking struggled. Dead. Walking Dead as an atmosphere for the whole game. The last <laughs> time we spoke about The Walking Dead, we you know described it as being an experience rather than a game, and the soundtrack must contribute in there in some, yeah, some way. Yeah, I couldn't think of any songs from any games I liked, so I went with really good ambience, and that's why I picked The Walking Dead. Plus, if you count soundtrack as voice work, The Walking mm. Dead is best yeah, for that. Yeah, absolutely. So is that so, the reason so... you also picked the Noodles? Is Noodles dead? Huh? Well, no, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Is that the reason why you picked it? Was it what? just that one track, or was it all of... Um, well, Alive Inside, which is basically the track that plays every time you're at a main hub world. The Oh, just, yeah, I know the one, yeah. It's just... It, it, Haunting? It's just... Yes, it's just... <laughs> it, there's the, the kind of, like, glimmer of hope, but then there's just, like, the, the horrible string bits. Of which horribleness is, that we can't talk about, because he still only played two of yeah. them. A bit like this oh, podcast. You still not. You still not finished. Oh. I'm. I'm stretching it out. One day. I will. Oh. I'm stretching it out. He plans to finish one day, Kiff. I'm stretching it out. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Take so that you as also, you will. So you, you picked The Walking Dead as well, even though you've only played two episodes of it. Yeah. But but you struggled as well. I, I struggled with best soundtrack, as I said, because I couldn't think of anything in particular that jumped out. But then I realised that maybe. It's it's one where it hasn't jumped out because it's it's been you know more of an atmosphere sort of thing. You're not looking for something that's like punching yeah. your face. It's not. It's it you know it's something that's uh, uh, hiding underneath, keeping everything sort of. Yeah, usually I would pick I would pick a game based on if I went to find a track from it on YouTube to favorite, but I hadn't done that for any this year, so that's why it was tough for me. Shall we move on to the next award? Let's move on. So, most anticipated game of 2012. Flick, you yeah. first. Not the same thing as game of the year, just the thing we looked forward to looked the most to in it. advance. Yeah. In advance yeah. of it coming out, before you played it. In advance of it coming out, yeah. Who will go first this I time? I suggested you. I shall go first again. We'll, with, we'll do this. We'll, noodles, noodles, me, you. That'll be the order. Okay. Well, it's an answer that you're not going to like, Flick, but it's Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. <laughs> <laughs> so you you were looking forward to it. I was the last yes. podcast you said yeah. I was wrong after you played it and found out you liked it. No, I didn't say that at all. I'm Nunes looks sure forward did. to sticking red hot pokers up his ass. No, no, so he must look forward no, to the Dark Souls. Very funny. Very very funny. No, but I I was I was very pleased when it, it was gonna be ported to PC because I obviously I wanted to get get in on the action. Oh, you wanted to see what it was like, and then so that's why yeah. you anticipated it. Hmm. Yeah. So it wasn't anticipation that like you 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 practically knew you were going to love it. It was a case of like you you just really wanted to see you know what all the hype was all about. Yeah, I wanted to see see what it was and see if it was as difficult as everyone said, which was um, I don't know. I, don't, I it was definitely some bits were more difficult than I was expecting, but then others just walking around normally. Just the bosses, I think, were more. More difficult than I thought they'd be. I think. Did you do any prior so, knowledge looking up anything before playing, or did you just go blind no. straight in? I didn't go completely blind. I like looked up. I didn't look up like the Drake sword and stuff like that. I just didn't care about that. I just, I, what I, did you look up? 
like various like uh the npcs and stuff i didn't know how they would react to a, a guy with a giant sword running up to them i i, then, I uh, do still think though that you misinterpret the reason why we don't like the game it wasn't that it was difficult it was that is that it was unfair no yes yeah because the game, the game, it, it wasn't that it was like you know we couldn't complete it or we couldn't get through it. It's just that it was unfair. No, 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 no. yeah, I I can understand that, but I don't think that now it's it's a lot. I think it's been changed a lot from what you experienced. So that's probably why that is possible. I don't it know. is, yeah, I like, that's true. I like it. Uh, it's very hard to rewrite somebody's experience that they've already had, though. You can, it's very difficult mm. for you to go back over it again. It's like you know, do I really want to put myself through that you know torture again? Mm, maybe. Yeah, I I don't. If anyone gives me it on Steam, I will ignore. <laughs> I will ignore them. <laughs> you just leave that's it. Going there. Your inner Scotsman. That, that's that's my inner Scotsman. No, an inner Scotsman would accept any gift, regardless of how worthless the gift was. Yeah, exactly. So you're ignoring your inner Scotsman, which is what I said. So oh. my my most anticipated game of 2012 was Resident Evil Six. I was really so looking forward. So was mine, forward. just to get out of the way. Oh, I was really looking forward to Resident Evil 6. It looked it, like it looked promising. It looked like there were going to be, you know, a few elements of, you know, Gears of War syndrome. But I was really just anticipating Resident Evil 6 being, like, back to Resident Evil 4, maybe, you know? But we'll move we like on. the demo as well. We'll, we'll move on to, to, you know, other subjects, but... You know that's that's why I th- I thought it was going to be a great game. I really did. Yeah, I was looking forward to it. Uh, not terribly much, but I found it hard to think of anything I was really looking forward to this year because I wasn't that looking forward to Mass Effect Three, for example, because I didn't really like two. Going so, forward, going 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 forwards though, for 2013, I'm really looking forward to Aliens Colonial Marines. Oh. I, I am now. After I've watched a few more videos and stuff, I'm really looking forward to, you know, Aliens Left 4 Dead style gameplay. I'm really looking forward to the assault rifle noise from it. Oh, yeah. If that counts. Everybody loves that noise. Yeah. The assault rifle from Aliens is the best gun sound in existence. I'm going to get that noise and use it as my text alert tone. I would. Well, I hope it's better than Aliens vs. Predator, the... Um... Yeah, that was rubbish. More, I yeah, that. <laughs> it's awful, <laughs> awful game. Shall we move on to biggest disappointment? Yes, yes let's. let's. Okay, noodles, shoot. Um, I the can't think of one. Shoot. I can't think of one right now, so you're going to have to just come back to me. Okay, let him be quiet for a little while. What's, will I do mine? You do yours, it'll be the same as mine. Yeah, it's Resident Evil 6. It's Resident Evil 6. <laughs> An honourable mention would be Mass Effect 3, but I didn't play it. So I, I didn't, didn't play it, and my honourable mention would have been Black Ops. Black Ops 2, because I was... Say, um, I didn't like Mass Effect 2 that much, so it can be that much of a bit disappointment that Mass Effect 3 turned out to be a bit poo. And uh, you could probably have, you know, gauged this from, you know, the most anticipated game category, that we were going to suggest this as being the biggest disappointment because we were really looking forward to it. <sighs> Maybe we it... set ourselves up. Maybe it's all us. <sighs> but the thing is, there's there's so many, like, small things that could have been fixed, like don't have like half the game as quick time events where you know, when you're not you're not prepared for a quick time event and you die and you die and you die I would put some zombies in it and not zombies that use fucking guns and, or, or, or you know getting run over or gunned down by a chopper or hit by a boat or a train or uh, a are you trying to list all the people that killed me because you're only like a quarter of the way through oh god <laughs> as, as, as pointed out in, in the already you know, top 5 best and worst games video you died more to vehicles in that game than you did yeah. to zombies. I didn't die to zombies at all. Not once. So it was it was a big letdown. It was. Uh, I'm imagining it probably sold very well and there'll be another one, but I, I <laughs> stick to my guns that I really do wish even if you can have the really quirky, you know, walking on the spot doing a circle thing, go back to, you know, the style of the original games. They can make it like a really, really, like, you know, with graphics yeah, today, uh-huh. the technology today, they can make a really good survival horror game. The only thing worse than not getting what you want is getting it. So why is that? Um, yeah, That's... that doesn't that doesn't make a, <laughs> any sense. It's a proverb. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck your proverbs. <laughs> I don't want to get it pregnant. It might give birth to a sentence. <laughs> I think we've filled enough for Noodles to have 
figure it's a game out. Uh, Congratulations, it's a haiku. <laughs> well, um, I'd quite like a haiku. In fact, I could fill some time with a couple of haikus. I've got uh, some of zeros from Borderlands. <laughs> let's not do that. Noodles oh, come on, can I do one? Right. Just, All right, just, please, one, just, one. just one. I'm bored as hell. I would like to kill something. Can we friggin' go? <laughs> and with that... Noodles right, was, uh, it's, it's probably going to be Saints Row 3. Even or, though you've not played a lot of it yet. No, three hours mm-hmm. in, it's not exactly picking up. Didn't yeah, it, it doesn't. Oh, wait, you got it on the PC, didn't you? I was going to say, that came out yeah. last year. It did? It was a last November release. It was, yeah, but on the, it's this year for PC, I think. If well, it is, he's picked an illegal game. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And he will be punished for his insult. Forgive me. Oh. Forgive, okay, okay, okay. Most, most technically, right. Dark Souls came out last year as well. Yeah. That's yeah. what he, and he thinks. Uh, no, but the Prepare to Die edition for PC was yeah. this year. Yeah. In fact, the Prepare to Die edition in general was this year. News of those yeah. games are all going to be 2011 games. That's because he doesn't play They anything. are. I, do, yeah. I, I don't think I've bought like a full price release in like at least two years. Too busy making don't legal me... Amazon accounts and getting packed. <laughs> yeah, up. yeah. Right. I'm getting on Steam and I'm going to end up gifting you XCOM. <laughs> Uh oh. So you can play no, something from 2012. No, 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 no. In 2012. Play something from the future no, today in the past. Something. <laughs> if you're going to give me something, then just give, just make it cheap and not from. Not. <laughs> sort of I think he's beating around the bush, but what he wants is your bonus. No, no, just, just don't give me anything. Anyway, please. so your. I hope you all heard that. Do not gift him anything. Your biggest disappointment was Saints Row 3. From last year, yeah. <laughs> is that is that is that because you played the second one, or just because you were? You know? No, because I thought it would be crazy and blah blah blah, but it wasn't as crazy as as I was expecting. And I was expecting crazy, and I didn't really get it. And he couldn't think up a better answer. And I couldn't think of that. Is the main reason? <laughs> yeah, that, that is, is the main poor, poor THQ and Saint Row Three getting kicked while they're down <laughs> just because yeah. you couldn't think of a game released this year that you didn't like. <sighs> Excuse me, I bought the THQ Humble Bundle. You're such a so, bully. You're a bully. Well, speaking, of which, speaking of which, there's a Humble Bundle Seven out right now, so everyone go and get that. What's in Humble Bundle Seven? Um, Humble Bundle Seven. I shall just have a check. Ugh. Well, let's introduce the next award. Well, uh, uh, the next hey, award. Hey, 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 oh. hey, hey. Dungeon Defenders, Legend of Grimrock, Snapshot, Binding of Isaac, plus the DLC, Closure, Indie Game of the Movie, Shank 2. Okay, that's quite a good that sounds like package. A good and that's the one you can pay however much you want, right? Uh, yep, yeah, but you've got to pay more than the average, which is 639 at the moment. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. You've got to pay Defenders. more than the average, right? So, so the, the average is always going to go up. No, 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 no. But it, <laughs> No, but usually it, it stays around the five dollar or six dollar mark. No, it can't stay. Clever. No, 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 it can't Always stay around the five or six dollar. No, 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 no. You have to pay more than the average. Well, no, no, no. You don't have to pay more more than the average to get the two extra games. Like people just just buy like the normal pack and just get four, no, five, five games, and then they just give them to all of their f- friends or whatever. But nobody, I mean, Dungeon Dungeon Defenders and Legend of Grimrock. I mean, they're not exactly big. Titles that are actually going to get people to pay that extra, whatever. So, Horse Armor Award. Or Pointless DLC Award. Most Pointless Point DLC. This is Noodle's uh, choice of an award to include, so you should probably have a good answer for this one. It's I a, do, actually. It's and a brand it, new it one, and I reckon there's going to be three different answers to this one. That's my prediction. Right. Well, it's it's rather fitting that my choice is actually related to the, the Elder Scrolls, <laughs> because the Half-Fire... DLC oh. came out this year. Yes, it did. I yeah, think it did. It did. Right. Okay. So I'm on safe ground here. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a house with mm-hmm. you can decide your own house, which is an, an already existing mod. You can have a child and a wife, which I think are already existing mods. So it oh, adds yeah. basically nothing, and you're forced to pay. I think it's what three quid. To be fair, it was probably marketed at console players who are, like, let's face it, stupid people for yeah. playing an Elder Scrolls <laughs> game on a console. Yes. But you won't have, prob- have access to proper mods made by good modders. Probably marketed at them. So it's probably that they tried to take the Xbox, you know, 
Microsoft points mm-hmm. cost and revert it back into real money for people. They will never know the joy of having the Death Star as your moon. <laughs> <laughs> Their lives will be forever incomplete. <laughs> they can never look up and say that's no moon. The irony <laughs> being... That, see, see the, the, the real irony here is that I'm sitting here slating these console people for not having access to mods, and, and yet, yet I don't, don't mod yeah, you don't my game. What about official mods, though? What about expansions, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Expansions and stuff, I will, obviously. But so Hearthfire is a what, technically an expansion. What, what I will do before the end of 2013, this is my promise, <laughs> I will so heavily mod <laughs> Skyrim that it is un, unbelievable, unplayable, just so ridiculous. I'll do that. I'll put a video up. That sounds like a bet. It sounds like a bet. It smells so, like a bet. Do you want to list your DLC next? Mass Effect 3, the real ending. No, that, was, that wasn't that was pay for DLC, that was just DLC. Just oh, DLC. No, well, this, it still counts, this is just yeah. DLC. It could be free, it could be whatever. Wait, so I it just... falls into most pointless? Adding an extra ending was pointless? Because it's, Wait, it's stupid. It was, it, it was their way of justifying the fact well, that the original the... ending was, was stupid. They yeah. came to the fact... They no, 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 no. They they still did it. The, the original endings were the proper ones because the one yeah, they added they was everybody that died. That makes it even more reason that it's pointless DLC. They had a slideshow at the end of just random yeah. pictures, didn't they? And then they changed barely anything apart from the way the person spoke. And well, you see, this puppy, this puppy essentially, survived. Essentially, you're just you're just supporting my argument that it's pointless DLC because you're I would saying say it is that, pointless because saying, they remain far too up their own arses that they did it right even though they didn't yeah. it was just like, so yeah I can see why you included it it was just like them what? And their doctor. why 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 do that just like stick to your gun say this is how we wanted things to end you don't like it kind of tough shit you're still going to buy the fourth one uh, <laughs> yeah speaking of I will not <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy Mass Effect 3 no neither did I neither did I uh, I, I think I misunderstood this award because for my answer to it, I've written Capcom. <laughs> that Capcom is, is the most... Is no, the most no, no, I can understand that. Cap, Capcom is the most pointless DLC, or to word it in a way that makes sense, they're the worst for doing pointless DLC. Mm. So have you got a, to be a particular one that you're going to, to pick? Well, I haven't really bought much DLC this year, so it was hard to pick anything, especially one that I would consider utterly pointless. I mean, you could bring up, like different coloured costumes for Street Fighter X Tekken and crap like that but I didn't play them so I didn't want to like I didn't play Mass Effect I don't play them either, at all so. slated it oh okay then I'll go with that then buying shitty costumes for that kind of thing <sighs> which is Capcom anyway so yep the answer remains and with that we can move on to the worst, worst company, company. oh dear I think, I think this is going to be so my 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 choice yes for worst company well, I'm just going to have to go with the old classic and say the Bears. Bears the, bear, the Bears. The Bears. I mean, what they're doing to, to Devil May Cry is just <laughs> awful. Have you played I, the Devil May Cry demo yet? No, I have not. I don't oh. care about that. And just, look, just I don't even look. I mean, they've bastardized the character so much. He's just... <laughs> you no longer want to have sex with him. Okay, there's there's already uh, day one DLC where you get to yes, play as, there is, as yeah. Virgil, his uh, Dante's brother. Unless you pre-order from the place that gets it for free. Yeah, yeah, which is just <laughs> dumb. Uh, it's just... <laughs> I had a feeling that this would be a highly fought after award for Capcom because I also <laughs> picked Capcom for being the worst company. There was a contender for second place, but I'm waiting to see what he picked because it I, may be the ones I had in mind. I didn't pick Capcom. Because did you <gasps> pick Nintendo? I picked EA. Did you? With a sort of oh, like, that, with a side that's order a good point. That's with a good side point. order of Bioware because it was a kind of joint effort over this one. Because <laughs> it's been it's been a long time since this incident, but the whole Mass Effect thing was like such a big deal back then. I mean, it, it didn't really Im- impact me. Back then in March. Back then in back March. Back then in March. And you forget, like, how big a, a shambles the whole thing was. It was like, oh, this is what we wanted to do, and then all the fans all went mad, and it was... Oh, blah, blah. And it's not just that, but EA have screwed over Bioware, which used to be a very reputable company. It was a case of, you know, oh, Bioware's making that. You know, that'd be good. You know, they've got a good track record. Now, yeah. are you good planning on buying the next Bioware game, regardless of what it is? No. 
Because no, because now no. It's so Bioware fun. doesn't exist now. By the way, it's lots of small Biowares that EA well, just that, uses the name to market. That's even worse, and so that's why I, I know. But we've EA. talked about that before. Yeah, and that's why I picked EA. Okay, well, EA is deserving of being a worst. In fact, it was voted this year, or was it last year, the worst company in America? So there you go. So somebody hates them. Somebody's hating them. Hater is gonna. Somebody is hating them. But to keep and try and raise the bar here of this podcast, let's go into best company. Oh, okay. So it's not as depressing. Let's do a nice one. Nice you Let's do one that we can talk about something nice. I found it very hard to pick a I best found it company. very, very easy, actually. Very easy. Oh, well, you, you know what? I'm just going to go all out and just declare my love for Gabe Newell and oh. Valve. Because <laughs> Gabe Newell the, is such a the, knob. The, the, holiday, the holiday sales are on right now. So, you know, I could, it's, it's the only obvious choice. They haven't even... Re- I don't think they've even released You realise Gabe Newell is not a company, right? <laughs> He's the no, size of he one. Val. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's, oh, fat joke that's about Gabe Newell. That's original. <laughs> <sighs> My sarcasm oh. meter is going off the charts. <laughs> well, no, sarcasm no, detector. That's a real reason. To, <laughs> to, to be fair, fair <laughs> to be fair, as, as, much, as much as you can hate on Steam, the Steam sales are pretty good. The, They're a good the great. chance to buy games that you had no intention of buying, yes. Or games that were maybe like, you know, just on the outside of your Well, yeah, I'm I'm on the cusp of potentially buying Dishonored for fifteen pounds. Exactly. I, haven't I, I would my friends have recommended that. They've said it's really, really Yeah, but your friends are morons. <laughs> That's <laughs> they, well they didn't actually listen to the last one where I actually gave them the shout out and then they were just hmm. like, Oh, didn't this miss would be a good test. So that, so there you go. Yeah. So that proves they're morons. You came on, you did a shout out, and then they didn't listen to it. Please yeah. did you give tell us a shout out. We'll listen. A shout out, or that you were going to. Well, presumably hmm? they asked. Well, yeah, they asked. Well, they and asked. I told they them. didn't listen to it afterwards. I, uh, they asked. I gave them. The, I told them that they gave. I gave them a shout out, and then they didn't listen at all. And I just knocked my mic. Well, so, so in my anger, to my best company, and this is as I say, this was going to be a really easy choice. Uh, only recently. I mean, it's going to be Gearbox, isn't it? No, it's not. No? It's, it, it's technically a, a joint effort again. It's uh, for Access and 2K. Oh, for, for XCOM. For XCOM. Yes. Because everything that they seem to be intertwined with, I mean, you've got like Civ Five and now XCOM and stuff, they, they never seem to let me down. Anything that there's some sort of collaboration with these two companies together, I enjoy and I plow ridiculous amount of hours into so I can understand that. So yeah, the, and you know they've been they've been doing this for for a while now, and they never <laughs> seem to. Uh, yeah, over. since Populous days. That was yeah. was that their first thing, Populous. No, Populous was um, uh, Peter Molyneux. It wasn't just him. It was. It was just him. Just him. Well, well at what point did Firaxis get involved then, in, or did he form it? I. I uh, Let's See, I didn't really pay attention to that kind of game when I was very young. I was more like console stuff. I on. played Populous, but back then I wasn't interested in who the companies were. I was just interested in playing the games. Or you just assume a person is a company. Back it's then, the back then, I mean, like there was Apogee Software and stuff. Nobody's ever even... Aperture Software? Apogee. They made oh. like the um, Secret Agent games, and I think they were also loosely involved in the Commander Keen games as well. I like, see. Apogee, they were like they were like the the big name back then. Anyway, so what's your best company? I picked Telltale Games. Uh, oh, was, now that was uh, that was a good choice. I pr- Telltale uh, Games have been around for a very long time. They before. have, and I think they have very lovingly recreated a Walking Dead game based on the comics and the, the TV show and everything. I think they put a lot of work into staying true to the source material. Have you sent them a lock of your hair in an envelope in the post? Not yet. I also like that they didn't overcharge for what they put out. That's I like true. that they're humbled by their success rather than letting it go to their heads. And I look forward to the second season, even though it may suck. Do you, do you think that they weren't anticipating the games as being as well received as they were? Yeah, yeah, it is their most successful thing ever, ever. I mean, I, I vaguely remember seeing their logo appear on some very old sort of 2D platforms. I did Discworld games and whatnot. Yeah, but I mean before then. I mean mm. like pre-386 PCs and stuff, when floppy disks were still floppy. Um, yeah, they have been around for a long time, and recently big. they have been very into the episodic gaming releases, and it hasn't quite worked for like Sam and Max, but for The Walking Dead, 
the kind of hit the right spot of releases, the price for all of them. The I fact think you could buy them all at once. If they had sort of tweaked the the release schedule a little bit, you know, there was that hiccup at the start. Yeah, there was a long delay between the first two, which was a bit disappointing, but then it was okay. So, so before we go on to the final six awards, I believe we have an email. <laughs> Is this where you realise you don't have it handy? I do have it handy. Don't don't like break the fourth wall or whatever. We don't have a fourth wall. No. I got stolen by tramps years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we have one email. I'm assuming there's no Facebook comments or anything that are relevant. Um when I was asking for suggestions for awards, someone said we should have a four a sports one. And they just said fuck sports. And did you <laughs> take a note of their name so that you could thank them for their contribution? Uh, Rapidly uh, clicking uh, onto uh, Facebook uh, now to try and get too a Too long has passed for me to pretend I was just trying to think of the name. No, I'm checking now. <laughs> oh, no. It was lost amongst lots of other stuff. That's why. Uh, I think it was Kwiku. Yes, it was. And someone also said that they thought Far Cry 3 should be the, the game of the year. So, yes, Kwiku was suggesting... Jared was the one who said that. Ah, uh, Yes. Far Cry 3 the game of the year, Black Ops 2 for just another card. Um, Kwiku suggested best sports game award goes to Fuck Sports. Um, and a tie for funniest looking animated boob, a tie in between Citra from Far Cry 3 and Cortana from Halo 4. And Cortana best, does have funny tits. Best villain award goes to Vaz from Far Cry 3. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the pair. I knew someone mentioned somewhere that where we could see it and that they liked the Far Cry 3 villain. So thanks go out to Kwiku and Jared for contributing there and also to Rory Wood for sending us an email. Again, he sends a lot. Remember he when does. we used to have that other guy who sent us emails? Yeah. What was never happened to that guy? Where did he run off to? <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have him on instead of me. <laughs> so this is a slightly short email, so we'll bash through this rather quickly. Okay. Hello, Batman and Flick. Are you two going to do a co-op play of the new Borderlands 2 DLC that's out on 15th of January called Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt? How are you liking the bee nerf? Oh, and Flick, are you going to get Ultimate Ninja Storm 3? Yes, is the answer to that. Just about. I think we've had that asked before, in fact. Yeah, so the answer is yes and yes, and uh, we haven't actually played the game since the bee nerf has been out. I don't think it is out in the consoles yet. We did have an update, but I went on to have a little look, and my B seemed still to have the same stats. So I don't think it's happened yet. Bizarre. It has. It happened a while ago on PC. But oh, does that mean that they fixed that boss that we were trying to fight? Master Gi the Invincible. Master Gee. I don't know. I would need to check the Borderlands wiki. I forgot that we still have that to do. We do. Um, we haven't been recording any of the DLCs, but I am kind of now that we're got the Resident Evil 6 playthrough out of the way I'm kind of void of videos I've when you say we few... you mean you I mean me <laughs> I'm using the, the royal we I'm, I'm still <laughs> it tastes like champagne I'm still struggling to to, to, to cope with the connection issues and stuff yeah front. I do have a couple of XCOM matches we played against each other that will probably be uploaded as well of me getting my ass handed to me because I didn't know how the game worked and then me losing big... no I'm not giving away why I lost I lost I'm not telling you why <laughs> Stuff happened. In Stuff fact, you happened. Get a sneak peek in the background of the top five video because I used some of the footage for that. Uh huh. So, what so, was our third part to that email, or was that, that it? That was it. Was it? Oh, well, do you think we should do a video walkthrough of the next DLC? We could do it for the, you know, the DLC. They're not. Well, should I say? But I'd say they're not that long. But in fact, no. they have been fairly substantial. To yeah, if give... we do all the side stuff, but because they're not raising the level cap, there's very little point other than to get achievements, so... which is annoying. They should raise the level cap. It's a bit Maybe weird that's that they the next one. Maybe the next one will do that. Who knows? Yeah, and no, it's not in the list of features for. Oh. So oh, well. if they are going to do it, it would have to be the last one. Whenever that's out, probably February. And by then, well, I might still be playing it. Don't know. Stay tuned. Yeah, so, we, we are open to suggestions, video-wise, at the moment. So thank you very much, Rory, for sending in your email. Your yes. contributions are always welcome. Yes. If you want to send an email and get it read out on air, bringoharty at gmail.com or visit the Facebook page, facebook.com slash bringoharty. Yeah. You hear that, Noodles? I do. I Smack him. My... Smack Ow. him. Smack him. Ow. This is not Ow. masochist podcast. He likes it. He's a masochist. <laughs> oh, I member. forget. He enjoys it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not making a porno. 
So, on to the next the, award. Uh, oh. The next I'm award. so okay. glad you cut him off there. Cut me off. No, <laughs> he likes that too. Well, actually, I was gonna, I was gonna relate it to a video game, but no, go on, no, go no, on. No, just, no, I, no, no, interject. Well, you... well, the, um, the, 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 the oh, I, I don't know how to, how to quite say it, but Spit the, it out, um, man. the in Saints Row the Third, there is a certain mansion which you go into quite early on in the game. Mm-hmm. With, oh yeah, um, he's been in that mansion. Yeah, yes. I've been there. I've <laughs> the been one there. With, what's his name? The guy with the broken Z. place. I think it's just... Oh, what is it? Is it just Z? <laughs> I can't remember. No, it's like zero or something. But yeah, that it just reminded me of that because I was playing that yesterday. Did you enjoy your time in that mansion? <laughs> Very much You still so. got it just all, loaded up all sitting the, in the mansion. Are you just all in the, that mansion? You haven't been able to leave it yet. <laughs> all the intricate machinery I saw. Did it give you ideas for home improvement? It, br- it brought tears to my eyes. You all went the things straight that out I to thought I could That's because you were standing too close to it. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we move the on? Words. Yes. What so, is the next award? The next award is the Donkey Award. So this is the E-aw. you know kind of um, Beeboo Awards. So no, the E-aw. Come face, on. Face palm. Face palm award. Okay. So, noodles. Sure. Most stupidest Be thing first. ever. Do you have a right. stupidest thing of the year? I like that you said me first when I said that. <laughs> right. Okay then. So I think that the um, the Dur- the Doritos and Mountain Dew <laughs> limited editions of Halo, Halo Four. <laughs> that is. Well, I, I don't get that. What is with that? I, it's just money, 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 money. And it's I think just, it's. A, I think it's an American thing. See, you with, don't get it. Yet you then go on to list the exact reason why advertising <laughs> in America works slightly different than over here and i think that that it's you know sponsors and tie-ins and stuff i think i think it's it, it must just work over there they must just be used to it i mean breast like, cancer sponsored by god we recently <laughs> we recently had you know the, um little bits before tv shows saying that there may be some sort of advertisement placed in here you know but, but, but it's a place, tight, yeah, that. Um, product placement. product yeah. placement that's the word i was looking for there's um there's even oh, I think it was pizza I had a pizza hut from uh no I had a pizza from Pizza Hut Express yesterday and then they had a golden halo halo four which was basically red Leicester <laughs> cheese stuffed crust and I that's got it's barely got anything to do with halo apart from the fact that there's a a halo of cheese or whatever and I just <laughs> I don't kind of want to know what you had on your pizza I don't know why I just kind of do what did you have on your pizza. As well, we had, sev- we had several pizzas. Um, what? <laughs> is this when you were dancing with the girls? Uh, yes. You were dancing and we and eating pizza. pizza. <laughs> yes. No, well, no. The pub we is called pizza. Pooch. What? No, no, no. <laughs> we had pizza beforehand, then we all went out. And there were men the dressed up in leather eat. and... No, no, none of that, I'm afraid. Wait, why am I afraid of that? Because of all the leather? <laughs> I don't know. let's do your worst donkey award daily since let's browse browse over that's not what i want to say let's brush forget over, the brush. Dew. brush over uh, brush over the this is probably something you were trying to anticipate earlier on in the awards but i've picked nintendo for the wii u oh i've also picked the wii u <laughs> because the wii u oh. is the most like yeah. idiotic thing ever because, like, like, let's see how they're going about it, right? They're saying, right, okay, we're going to advertise it because HD graphics, right? Okay, you came to the game, you know, what, six years late? You know, right? Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> pretty much. Um, you've now decided that you want to, you know, advertise this brand new console towards the hardcore gamers, the real <laughs> gamers and stuff. And yet, you're still using this these stupid remotes that you, you know, these Wii U remotes and stuff. Toys, and Fisher it's, Price, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, not a real, not a real hardcore gamer control pad. Uh, in a previous podcast, I explained about that if you wanted to use voice chat and a real, you know, you can buy a real control pad to use for, <laughs> for the Wii U. You, you still have, to, have to plug the headset into the into the the the, 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 the tablet, pad, the game pad, pad is thing, called, the yeah. game pad thing that they call it. So you're holding a controller. You've got another controller next to you with the headset plugged into it, and you can't charge it while playing it directly from the console. You have to plug mm-hmm. it into a main socket, and there's just uh, it's. And then there's also the blocking of 
18 plus games <laughs> before <laughs> midnight or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's because of German law, by the way. It's the Germans that are to fault for that, but it affects Fucking the whole of Germans, Europe. Germans, honestly. <laughs> Sorry. Because, you know, they're they, very bad about their thing, games. They're, they're violent seems, games. Yeah, they are. It's like Resident Evil used to have green blood and stuff for them. Dust and then purple blood. And um, the the Australians are quite bad for their you know clamping mm. down on gaming as well. But well, I thought they 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 had um, they had a rating change recently, yes, which I think true. allowed they brought in a mature rating because prior to that, yeah. no mature games could be released there because they didn't have a rating for it. <laughs> <laughs> As stupid as that sounds, that's I mean, the reason. That that reminds me of like a QI episode where they were talking about the guy that invented like the driving license, and it's like you know you, you had cars before people had licenses to drive these things. It's like uh, what's going on there? <laughs> that's a case of the egg and the chicken the egg and the getting chicken. mixed up about which whatever was first. Yeah, I think that's probably a bit closer to the egg and the frying pan more than the egg. And oh the yeah, chicken. yeah, okay, yeah, the egg and the frying pan, <laughs> but the, the egg frying and the frying pan, pan. but. It's a case of like Nintendo. This is too little, too late. Why? Why they even bothered with this is just ridiculous. They should have just gone right. We'll skip this generation and we'll just pump out something for the next generation. Something they that can't we'll... afford to because they're going under. They're in massive debt and something they're going that... to go. Under. Yeah. Well, this isn't going to do them any good. They were hoping the gimmick market would save them. It might, but it might. but they ran the wave. They 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 ran the wave. They, they ran rode. the wave. They, they ran the wave. They've they rode, rode that, wave. that wave in the last in the last console. And they put it away wet. And now you know nobody wants to buy another console for their kids that does the same thing. Yeah, I did have an honourable mention for this one. I uh, for the most stupid thing in gaming this year, it would have been Assassin's Creed 3's ending. That's have... my backup answer. I haven't actually finished mm. Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah, I know. That's why it was my backup answer because I couldn't go into detail about it. I, I saw that and I can agree with that completely. It was absolutely awful. So rather than play games, you just look up the endings now. Is that what it is? No, I just... I, I heard about its appalling ending and I wanted to ah, see if it was as bad. I, right, I take okay, it it's, I it's safe to assume that there's going to be another Assassin's Creed. Of course. There's going to be another Assassin's Creed. They're just, just going to milk it. Yeah. Okay, the so next award worst is... character. Yes, I remember last year Jin from Dead Island won it. Oh, so don't, don't remind me. Fuck's sake. <laughs> right. Noodles, Noodles, do you need us to fill some space uh, while no, you no, think no, an no, answer? No, I, can, I can kick this off right away. Oh, okay. And it's from The Walking Dead, Ooh. and it's uh, Duck. Oh! <laughs> it's the most useless, worthless piece of trash ever. You don't like Absolutely. him because he had a speech impediment. No, and uh, it, no, even, no though, I understand. Even, though, even though he thinks Lee is incredibly awesome, that's okay. That's and there's the Batman and Robin bits, which are which is <laughs> slightly okay. The fact that he's just beep, and then he causes. Oh wait, no, I can't oh, say, can I? Because can't oh, why do I say that? that? Damn it! Damn it! Uh, and it I your cannot band, believe your you just did that. Your For fuck's yeah. sake, Ducks, why did I say that? Duck's sole reason for being in there is so that his dad has somebody to be watching out for. That's it. I, nearly, I nearly said something even worse than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, didn't. shut up. You didn't. It's <laughs> oh. not just me that you could be spoiling things for. It's uh, for oh, Jesus Christ. Well, you're going to have to cut that bit or bleep it or something. Yeah, I would actually just put Down. your swearing bleep over it. <laughs> The bit, that, the bit that's just me going beep. Yeah, just do a really long one over him. Oh, Let's God. quickly move on. Shall I do my worst character? Your worst character. <laughs> my worst character is Connor from Assassin's Creed 3 because he's a twat. That's, that's it. pretty that's, much it. Yeah. I, I nearly picked Connor, actually, but I picked Leon instead. Uh, he was a close second for me. Because, <laughs> because <laughs> as a character... Leon is a man-girl. And as a, as a semi semi-silent I suppose if you go back to Resident Evil 2 where there weren't that many you know cutscenes and talking and all that sort of stuff comparatively the mm. the, the script and just the things that he says in Resident Evil 6 are just so ridiculous it's just it's like, it's like they've taken two different conversations <laughs> he said one thing it's like it's like Space Ghost Coast to Coast it's like they've interviewed somebody and asked them a bunch of questions and then what they've done is they've used the answers to those questions and then decided to write their own new ones afterwards. Yeah, write an episode around it rather than... So oh. he he he's either saying something to somebody, then they react with something completely <sighs> different to what he's talking about, or they'll say something 
And he'll talk about, you know, you know, somebody's like, oh, my God, these zombies. And he's like, oh, I like this cheese. You know, it's like, girl, what, what, who, why? It, oh, and the subtext for everything Leon in particular says is pretty much, I'm an action hero now. Yeah, I'm an action hero and now, and I want to have sex with Ada, and it's not getting boring. No. Yeah, he, he was a very close second, but Connor's just utter lack of a character made him a terrible character to play as for so many hours. Like, I tried to... To, to justify the hating on Connor that I couldn't identify with the character because I was trying to say that like I couldn't you know get around you know jumping around in you know forests and stuff and yes because you're a big racist but but it's actually better that it's just he doesn't have any character at all so there's nothing for me to to assimilate there's nothing for me to identify with exactly so moving on from the worst characters what's the favorite character best not favorite I've written favorite Favourite then you've right written there. it wrong. Favourite, favouritest characters. Well, no, you're not going to pick someone else from The Walking Dead, are you? Why, yes, I am. You know me so well. <laughs> uh, well can, I I, guess, can I guess who you're going to pick? You can. P- go for it, go for it. Uh, I think if you wanted to have some kind of big statement about someone growing as a character, you would pick Kenny. But well, I think more likely you've chosen Lee. Yeah, I have actually. It's he just... was actually going to be a backup suggestion for me. Well, if I'm honest, the when uh, you know Don't that scene where the music, no, 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 la 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 la. You know, you know the scene where the music just starts playing and he's just he doesn't give a crap anymore yeah. for reasons that I'm not going to say. But pretty much that that moment where he's just without it's just, details, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yes, I I I couldn't think. I he's. You just want far and away, baby. Far, far and away, far week. and away. My, yeah, pretty much. I just oh. did you shed many manly tears? I I shed manly tears, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Oh well, you are a pussy. But that's were you okay. shedding those tears from your penis? <laughs> no. <laughs> we so they weren't that them. manly. No, <laughs> that isn't how manly tears work. <laughs> my when man people tears on a sad video say they've shed manly tears, they don't mean they've come down. <laughs> <laughs> They do in my head. In my household. No wonder you never take them seriously. That's that's, that's how things work in my household. (laughs) I don't want to know. Uh, I could could rename this podcast Manly Tears. No, no, definitely not. Now that I know how how you interpret that. I know you've picked Handsome Jack for best character. And you know that I... Because Handsome Jack is the best character ever. Uh, and it's, it's ironic the, that we were talking about dicks because Handsome Jack is a dick. Because it's uh, it's not that you play as this person or you even spend a lot of time looking at this person. It's just you spend a lot of time with him, considering with him, talk- it, you know, talking away in your ear and stuff. It's just the the voice acting and the script writing and just it's it's amazing. It's amazing how you can have somebody that you 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 are hate forced well, forced sorry. to hate. And the game, it's not that you you know personally decide to hate this person. It's that the game forces. The game you. does it. Yeah, it does a good job of making you it, hate him it, rather it, than it expecting gives you, you to enough hate him. different reasons for people across you know different backgrounds and you know yeah. you know even if you are a genuine dick, you know, and you <laughs> you 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 know kind of enjoy a bit of sadomasochism, you know, like crippled dating simulator and stuff. You will still hate this guy because of they'll they'll find something in there. That he's done, or he says, that will make you hate him. But at the same time, some of there the is things- also the angles where they they make you feel sorry for some of the things. Yeah, without going into a- detail, we don't want to spoil it for noodles, and even though yeah, he spoiled things for you, you. we'll find <laughs> out it's about him that you will then, you know, maybe feel a bit sorry for him. He'll say some things that will make you piss yourself. Yeah, but then he'll try and manipulate you using them, so then you go back to not <laughs> feeling sorry for him. So it's a very good back and forth. I mean, like, like my the favorite line has to be. The line about, I just bought a pony <laughs> made out of diamonds. Yeah, The, the diamond a... pony thing is brilliant. Go check it out on YouTube. You can find it. Talking about the diamond pony is just fantastic. It does crop up a couple of times afterwards as well. And Easy the... now. <laughs> What's that? I tried to think of um, any other, even people who could contend with Handsome Jack for best character. And the only other, or best favorite, whatever. The only other one that I could think of besides Lee from The Walking Dead was Hatham from Assassin's Creed 3 yeah, because I he, did enjoy Hatham. I mean, without spoiling anything for anybody that's not played the game or not played that far through the game, which isn't that far, mm-hmm. um, I was a little bit disappointed about how things turn out with Hatham. Um, well, you're not at the end yet. He does crop up quite a bit more. But it's it's like like I 
I actually didn't see that twist coming, right? Without spoiling anything. Without a twist, you don't want to spoil for noodles in, in an act of revenge. No, I'm not. I'm not, the, not that big a dick. No, you you know that I would, right? <laughs> yeah, I know you would. Oh, I know you would. Yeah. This is this is coming from the person that changed, and this is back when MSN was something that everybody used. Mm. That somebody <laughs> that decided to change his name on MSN to spoiling the fact that um, Snape kills Dumbledore when the Harry Potter book was first. What? I didn't know that yet. God. <laughs> yes. Well, why would yes. you ruin that for me? God. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. And that was that was like pretty much on release day of the book when I wanted announced. to get rid of people on my list with it. It's like dumping, wanting someone to dump you rather than you dumping them. It's like that was my a, way of clearing it at MSN. It's it's your equivalent to taking a shit in a glass and putting it back in. Yeah, the it was my mer- metaphorical <laughs> equivalent of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on from favorite character. Capcom's worst deed. Dun, dun, dun. Everything Captain does is the worst deed. Who would like to go first? I? Well, I I can't particularly think of anything apart from Mega Man. Mega Man's 25th anniversary not being given another Mega Man game. Oh. Instead, you've got a crappy little Mega Man. Mega Man versus Street it, Fighter. Yeah, so... It's, it's not free. A, they actually did it for that's free. True. Yeah, which is very, very... Which is probably what it costs to make. Yeah. But, it cost free money. <laughs> cost free money but you know it's just uh, it's like um, Metroid's 25th anniversary they didn't get anything it's just Aww. it's it's just sad it is, it's, did you say it he brings... you know Metroid's a woman right no I no, <laughs> no Metroid I, isn't Samus. a woman Samus well, is yeah, a woman. okay sorry I mean, yeah. sorry yes yeah Metroid's yeah, not, a little I'm, brain Metroid's a brain nail yeah yeah my... Just, it breaks my little heart. Oh, get over it. Oh, my pick for this one is an encore of what I picked last year because they've done the same thing again. It's on disc DLC. Just as a general premise, it's it's they're still general... doing it. They haven't learned. It's a bad, bad move. I mean, yeah, so... so for two years running, mine's is much more elaborate than either of you. Oh dear, mine's. Oh. Is, you're you're talking about on disc DLC. Mm-hmm. He's talking about the lack of something decent being produced. Mine is the fact that they produced something full stop, making <laughs> Resident Evil Six. <laughs> oh. Because, because, like, like people have people have pointed out from our playthrough, like you guys really aren't enjoying this at this point. <laughs> you're, saying, you're you're actually you're actually really hating this right now. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. We, we pushed yeah. we pushed through it. We soldiered through that game, but it was a chore. I mean, Leon's campaign wasn't too bad, and we made our own fun with some of the scripting and stuff, but... Chris's campaign, it was kind of the same thing. That was it, and then we thought, oh, you know, maybe Jake's campaign, you know, things might pick up a bit, but no, it was just quick. By Jake's it was, oh, let's just push on and get this done. (laughs) But then, then being the sadomasochists that we are, we thought, right, we need to go through and do this in professional difficulty, so we started doing that. Well, we did that really quick, though. Did we finish it? It wasn't hard. It wasn't hard to do. Did we finish it? On professional? Yeah, I've got, or prior to the DLC being released, I had all the achievements. Oh, so yes, 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 yes we, we did, we did. It's just you have to do it on ADAS as well, and you haven't done ADAS on professional. That's true. I soldiered through. Whereas if I'd waited, we could have done that co-op. But we will not good. be doing that co-op. Well, okay, I could technically help you. But, <laughs> but, I mean, we're not good. recording. It might make things easier for us to get through, for me to get through. <laughs> <laughs> if Well, yeah, the best part of ADAS campaign is she's chased by a sperm monster. <laughs> Spate. She's chased by spunk. Yeah, I mean, this, this, of it. I mean, like the 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 um title image is essentially you know blowjob don't, giraffe. Don't say it. Blow and there's up. spunk monsters and the, yeah. Yeah, what the bosses of one of the levels is just a big pile of semen. You you'll know what I mean when you get there. Don't touch it. So staying with this trend, worst game of the year. What's well, the I think it's entirely obvious that both you and I have picked Resident Evil 6 because it's such a fucking awful game. Noodles is the only one who's going to pick something else because he hasn't no, played I it. No, I picked something different. Yeah. Oh, did you? Wow. Yes, I did. I am very surprised. What was worse than Resident Evil 6? Black Ops 2. That, one, that must just be disappointment talking because it's not... The story mode's all right. I, like, I enjoyed playing through Modern Warfare 2 and I enjoyed Black Ops. And... I the reason I managed to convince you to get Black Ops Two is because the multiplayer was pretty solid and things did improve a little bit mm-hmm. and I was I was really thinking, you know, this this would be a good solid game to play, you know, on and off. You know, a bit of mm. fun in between other bits and pieces, all the many other hundreds of games that we play. Yeah. And it just became a big clusterfuck of mm-hmm. oh my god, this is horrible. I mean I've played a lot of shooting games in my time and this is by far the worst. 
I've Ooh, I've played dear. mods for Half Life that have been better than this. Zombie <laughs> oh. Panic, Zombie Panic mod for Half Life, right? A few mm-hmm. guys got together and made a mod for a game that you know years after the game had been released, <clears> and it was still infinitely better than this. Zombie you, Panic is a very good mod. It's not the source one, not yeah, the source but it's, one. But, it's, but it's not really? it's not a very well known mod. And no, the original the one wasn't. No, that's the point. It, you know, it wasn't it, that wasn't a big deal. And this is supposed to be like you know the big blockbuster of 2012. And it's pish. It's shit. <laughs> the, the single player campaign, yeah, it okay, stinks. it's not too bad. It stinks. But as they advertise it and as it's sold, the multiplayer is where it's at. And the multiplayer is terrible. The guns mm-hmm. are awful. The respawn points are awful. Um, the maps are too small. They're too awful. Everything is just... Too it's, awful. It's too awful. It's too awful. I can't... I need a thesaurus. Somebody get me a thesaurus. <clears> I'm going to get a sweet instead. Egregious. Well, I did, I did warn of this, but nobody took any notice... You know, nobody ever does. Yeah. So, well, if you did, you pick something. Different? I pick no. I pick something different. Ravaged. Uh, Don't know what a that game is. On, a game on Steam, which I got gifted uh-huh. uh, and cost one pound seventy four. <laughs> it was. Is this you I picking spent, on an indie developer now? Uh, it might just be. I don't. I, I don't it actually care right enough. <laughs> I don't actually care. I don't actually care enough for the game to. Oh, as if. If it's indie or not, because I played 22 minutes of it, and those 22 Ooh. minutes were the most boring minutes I've spent in my harsh. life. That's wow. harsh. So what did I you mean, say it was called? Ravager. Ravaged. Oh, I mean, ravaged. I, I had to play through the entire of Anomaly Wars on Earth to do the review for Critical Gamer. Uh-huh. And that was awful, but I played more than 22 minutes. I mean, I played through the whole fucking thing, and it was pretty bad. So what is it? It looks like it's some kind of futuristic it's, war game. It's pretty much Call of Duty, but in like a, a an apocalypse setting. Oh, I see. With with vehicles. Intense online multiplayer first person shooter Ravaged is designed with a heavy focus on vehicular combat taking place on vast maps. So it sounds more like Battlefield 3 to me, but yeah. It's nothing of the sort. Over no 40 fun. vehicles and weapons apparently. No fun whatsoever. Are you genuinely into your shooters, though, or is that not a nope. type of game? <laughs> Why did someone think it was a good gift for you? <laughs> I've got. I think it was cheap on Steam, so they were like, "Yep." I'm they gonna... wanted that badge to work towards the. You see, uh, the no, thing. this is this is in the autumn, actually. Oh, so that's right. why that's why XCOM will be the perfect gift for Noodles because he will love it. No, he will play no. it until his fingers are raw and bloody. I'm raw sure and believe bloody. you about Ravage Noodles because there's a quote here from Kotaku that says, I'm pleased to report that so far it's everything I'd hoped for and more. Uh, <laughs> how, how can you compete Kotaku. with that? That's Kotaku for you. How can you yeah. can compete with a quote like that? <laughs> I, I'm making a suggestion right now that we need to have some sort of Kotaku award for next year's one. Ooh, that's a good idea. Just their their most stupid thing they've reported on or done. It'll just I be think, to do I think more chapters. of an achievement, a more of a, an award or an achievement would be their best post or their best reported piece of work. Because, oh, hell. because that would be that a would, tough one. That would, that would involve work, and we all know that yeah. with Aku, we, we do no work. So, yeah. So, um, shall we... At least we had a mixture. I'm shall, surprised. We, shall we get into the game of the year? We shall, shall, and Noodles and I have picked the same thing. I've picked something that neither of you have even thought of. I'm predicting it now. Oh, can you predict what we've picked? <sighs> well, yeah, you, you can cheat because it's the same thing that was in my video. But you, you're going to pick The Walking Dead. And so is Noodles. Indeed I am. And because you've already right. covered off far too many reasons why you think it's the game of the year, so you've got nothing mm. to talk if about. If anyone it. would like more reasons, they can watch that video I made because I more went into More reasons? <laughs> more reasons? You're like those you're brains now for attacking. Reasons. <laughs> so what game did you pick if it was neither of those two can I guess you can guess you've not done it... enough of XCOM for it to be that nope at least in my opinion nope. it might be that no it's not no Dread Borderlands 2 nope Borderlands 2 oh yeah Borderlands I, was, I, I thought about Borderlands 2 I cheated because technically this isn't a game that's a clue oh <laughs> come on now is it Crippled Dating Simulator it's 2012 <laughs> yeah no, I pick <laughs> I pick Rocksmith. Oh come oh. on! Rocksmith is is a phenomenal piece of work. It is oh. it is amazing. It really is. I mean, like this shall is coming I go from on? someone who knew how to play prior to picking it up. Yes, I know exactly, and I still think it's great. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's 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 like um, power tab. It's like. Um, 
uh, having a guitar tutor. It's like having um, you know tab books in front of you. It's it's all these things. It's like the tone port that I have, the guitar port, which is now no longer in existence. It's like tons of stuff, and it's like you know a slightly more complex version of Guitar Hero or um, Rock Band for you know those inclined. It's 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 brilliant. It really. However, I agree to agree with you. If you take a picture of the Rocksmith packaging with a note you've written on it in front of it saying, I don't need you anymore, and send a picture of that in a text to your guitar tour. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's he'll a take, deal. He'll take it on the chin. It's unlike Donkey Kong. <laughs> he probably... <laughs> The thing is, is that like even things like the, the tools, like the tone port and stuff that I bought, um, there no, there, there's no replacement to having somebody that like the, the game won't be able to tell you specifically why you're doing something wrong. It'll tell you you're doing something wrong. <laughs> it'll say, like, "Hang on a minute, you haven't hit that note quite right," but it won't be able to tell you why, and it won't be, you know, it won't explain that, you know, maybe you're you're flattening your finger too much, or you're you know, missing a few notes. Have you been drinking? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Whereas, you know, a tutor will be able to say, well, you know, maybe, maybe this particular... No, the tutor will be able to say, you've been drinking. <laughs> you've been drinking. I can smell gin on you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to question. They'll know. <laughs> there, there are things that... It's, it's a good practice tool, and that's just the sort of thing that I need. But it's also, like, it's something that somebody that, you know, has gone out and maybe bought a guitar and tried to play and has never got into can fire this thing up and it will teach them through some of the easy, you know, beginning songs and learning some ropes and they can actually end up playing playing guitar. And that's the thing. You will end up being able to play guitar by buying this game as long as you put... Mm. You don't have to put as much effort in as if you just bought a guitar and tried to like you know, learn from, you know, tab books and stuff. But as long as you pick up the guitar and just play, you know, a little bit, you know, a day or a week or whatever, you will end up being able to play songs. Properly, for those cures, it is actually on Steam, but you have to buy a wire separately for your guitar to be USB into your you, PC. You still do. I don't know whether or not you definitely have to buy their one, though, because I know that you've got a cable that does a um, guitar jack to USB. I so, do indeed. So I would be interested to see if that works. Well, if someone wants to gift me Rocksmith, I do already know how to play bass guitar, but I can still... Oh, yeah, that's learn, it. It's not I just suppose. guitar. It does have bass um, support for it as well. Yes, so, but... All the songs are all the good songs are DLC, so we need to buy that. There is that, but then that's and they're a- very expensive as well. Actually, you've reminded me that when I looked at it on Steam, music, it's like two thirty nine for one song. Music is because yeah. there's a lot of you know legal mumbo jumbo. Then how come tracks are sixty nine pence or seventy nine pence on iTunes? Because on iTunes you're buying just the song as it is. When you're buying it for something like Rocksmith, you're buying something where they've edited the song in such a way that not only have you got the tab for it, essentially, but you've got um, a backing version of it. You've also got the the ability for it to be slowed down and all that sort of bullshit. Can you it's, edit? Can you like cut out instruments from it and that kind of thing? I, I've not tested cutting out instruments and stuff, but you can isolate sections of songs and you can, like, like you know, you can pick to be playing as the bass part of the song, so it removes the entire bass section because mm. you're filling the bass section in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it's not quite up there for some of the tools as the guitar port that I used to use was, because that you could essentially isolate any instrument and and do all sorts of horrible things to it. But it's it's a very good game, but technically it's not really a game. I would consider it to be like yeah. a learning aid. A learning aid, but... If I was... Will... If, like, you know, in, in hindsight, if I was to pick a, a, a game game, I would probably go Borderlands 2 because probably, it was very, yes. very good. Yep. DLC, not so much compared to the... DLC, the... no. I, some of the characters in the DLC and some of the stuff has been entertaining, but... Yeah. So to recap, Borderlands 2 did, did quite well. The Walking Dead did better and Resident Evil 6 did the worst. Yes. That sounds yep. like a good place to start wrapping this up then. Right take, then. It, take it away, Noodles. So who's got any <laughs> predictions for 2013 then? Um, uh, Dark Souls, Souls 2 will be game of the year. Dark Souls 2 will be game of the year. In his head. Uh, I, in my head. As you're whipped. <laughs> you you wanted to make another E3 yes, prediction ever. that the next-gen consoles will be released like you did the last time and be fell flat Bloody better. No, this time I will be right because they'll have been waiting for Nintendo to make their big screw-up. And it's been made. 
they've now got a, 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 an open field for a proper next gen console. I am quite not a next gen by convenience. Quite looking forward to a new generation of consoles. As am I. And with that, email us. We need, to, at we need to then fill this space with gibberish while he puts in music behind us. <laughs> you love it. We should it. probably hand it over to Noodles. Should, yeah, he's uh, full of gibberish. Noodles hasn't said anything for a while. He's just been listening to me. He's so very tired. He, he is knackered from all that poon. Yeah, my throat's time. actually hurting quite a bit. For your crippled dating poontang that you've been having. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. That, and I think he is finding it hard to talk with his fist jammed in there after spoiling. <laughs> I I'm cannot so, believe you did I'm that. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I just, uh, uh. You're, you're kind of making it really hard for me to gift something to you on Steam now. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, maybe I should spoil some more. So no. you don't have to give me anything. No, you I, don't, I don't understand how that works. Why? How does that work? Like, Why would you not want somebody to give you something for free? How well, does that no, work? If, if I don't think think about it, I'm supporting you, so why should I profit off, profit off of that? It's not really... Profit. Not it is kind of because I'm getting something out of doing nothing. But, but then, but then you can do videos, and then that also then recreates the profit coming back round full circle. You see, well, not for me. Yeah, when, when was the last time you made a video, Noodles? Make videos. Um, I've got nothing to make videos about, and I'm not good enough to make videos. If I make, if, no. but you see, if you had XCOM, you could do multiplayer videos of XCOM, and then you could upload those. No, I don't think they do very well, though, do they? Yeah, well, CR's dead. Somebody right. is just showing me a picture of this is what men get for Christmas when they piss Santa Claus off, and it's a big fat woman with tits hanging down to her knees. <laughs> and she's got like giant fro ginger hair, and it's just horrible. <laughs> nice. if, if my penis could be any further inside of myself, it would be <laughs> hanging out of my ass. <laughs> There's an image for that you. That is hot. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody rubbing one out right on that yeah. image right now. 